first of all, amazing job. Thank you. Um, perfect voice. What made you decide to pick Peter Weller for Old Bruce? Uh, old Bruce, that's so sad. <laughs> um, I knew I needed a voice that was more mature than we had been doing in the past. It had to have more age to it. And, and it, in this piece, he's so depressed when we first meet him. He's really given up on everything. And so I needed someone who, he's such a fine actor. I knew I could pretty much get anything I needed out of him. But he's got that great texture to it. He's got kind of a sound of someone who's had a couple of bottles of scotch. Yeah. Very, very expensive scotch, no doubt, but he's been living in the bottom of a bottle for a couple of years. And um, I knew Peter could pull that off. And I also knew that he could pull off when Batman or Bruce Wayne finally goes, you know what? I can't stay inactive anymore. I must do something about what's happening here. And and to make that beautiful transition into strength and, and leadership once again, because he takes over this crowd of mutants and gets them to do what he wants them to do. And I needed that strength as well, and I knew Peter could pull it off. How do you get such like an all-star cast for these animated films? Do you have connections, or is it a budget? Or? I do. I, I, I've been working so long in this industry that I know agents well enough, and I have a good enough reputation that they're willing to give me their A-list actors. And I squeeze out as much money from the budget that I can, and certainly they can turn me down because it's not enough money. But sometimes they just can't resist the lure of being able to play Batman. They get the chance to play it in voiceover where they may never get the chance to play it on camera, but at least they can play it. And, I, and I've had many actors say to me, you know, I, I, I never would have done this, but my kids, I'm the hero of the household because I played Batman. So that's also great. Now, this one's a lot darker than any of the other Batmans that you guys have done. Was it I don't know. Under the Red Hood, it was pretty dark. dark. That's true. Yeah, this is true. I think this one's a little darker. Batarang in the eye is pretty uh, Yeah, it's pretty intense. Um, well, doing this one with all the voice acting, is there anything different when you're doing a more serious, darker, more adult Batman than doing the lighthearted ones? Like, as far as directing them? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. It depends on the cast, first of all. You have to make sure they can handle the, the drama. Because the broader, lighter, for example, uh, Brave and the Bold, that series, was a much more comic sort of Batman. So you, you cast, if you cast the right people, you've already got half the battle to take care of. And then it's really just setting the tone for them. And then, if I've hired the right actors, I just slate and get out of their way. And then maybe give them direction, like, you're actually running during that line, so make sure you energize that. But for the most part, if the casting is right, then I'm in good shape.